Okay, mounting electrical boxes in a tire wall. Uh, so we, in order to mount an electrical box in a tire wall, you need to get a piece of wood. I like to use a one by, maybe like a one by four or a one by six, to span the gap in between two tires. Um, what you're trying to do here is get an electrical box, like this one right here, this, this outside edge of the electrical box, to be about a quarter inch out beyond the front face of these tires. So in order to do that, first we, uh, we need to make sure that our pack out is pretty low. Like our pack out isn't all the way out because we need to set that piece of wood in that box inside in, in this void in between these tires. And if your pack out is too far out, you're going to have to just chip it out in order to get it in. So here is uh, my pre-cut and pre-mount, my pre-cut piece of 1x6 that I'm going to use to span this gap here and my electrical box that's already mounted to it. Uh, another little tip here is that I like to put, well actually this is Ted's uh, suggestion to me, to put uh, some screws in the, just screwed into the back here of this piece of wood. What that does is when, it's, when it goes into the wall here, when you finish packing this out, these screws are going to be in that pack out and it's going to help hold this in. So what you want to do, you want to basically put this about where you think it's going to go, about there. And you're going to take a straight edge, I'm using a four foot level, and you're going to place it on the outside edge of this box, electrical box. And you're going to maneuver it until you have about a quarter inch in between the inside edge of this level and the front face of these two tires. The inside edge of this level registers, signifies the outside edge of this box right here. So I'm a little bit off here. Going to maneuver a little bit, and there we go, boom. I'm a quarter inch between the tire and the level here and here. And I know my electrical box, I can see it's basically level this way. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to hold that in place. I'm going to get some screws. Then I'm going to screw this piece of wood into the tires. So I'm just using some 3 inch zinc deck screws for this. Okay, so now I like to double check that the uh, outside edge of this uh, box is still a quarter inch out from these tires because when you screw this in it moves a little bit. So we'll just verify that. And yes it is. And there you have an electrical box mounted in a tire wall. Next thing is to install a plaster ring. Um, so plaster rings mount on the box like this, basically right there. This allows you to mount an outlet. They come in single and double outlet plaster rings. Uh, and they come in different sizes. So this one is a three quarter inch. But they also come in quarter inch, I think five eighths, and, uh, and maybe, and I think a half inch as well. So we know that we're a quarter inch off the, uh, the tires right now. By putting this in, that means we're gonna be an inch off the tires, which, uh, you know, depending on the thickness of uh, your plaster, you're going to want to vary that. So if I said my plaster was going to be a half inch thick, I'd want to put on basically probably a, uh, a quarter inch plaster ring to be half an inch out from the outside edge of these tires. And if my plaster is going to be an inch thick, I'd want to use this three quarter inch because I'm already a quarter inch and this three quarter inch will make one inch out. And uh, that's about all you need to know to mount an electrical box on a tire wall.